a commonly used and widely available drug could help manage symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome in patients seen in GP surgeries, according to recent research. The study, presented at UIG Week 2023, a conference by the European Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, found that amitriptyline tackles IBS symptoms, according to the results of the Atlantis trial. The drug is currently used, at low doses, to treat a range of health concerns. Irritable bowel syndrome affects around 1 in 20 people across the world, causing abdominal pain and changes to bowel movements. The condition currently has no cure, fluctuating in severing over time. IBS can have a significant impact on a person's quality of life, affecting work and their ability to socialize when symptoms flare up. The study was carried out by researchers from Universities of Leeds, Southampton, and Bristol and funded by the National Institute for Health and Care Research NIHR. Conducted in primary care, the research saw GPs prescribe the drop to IBS patients who manage their own dose based on the severity of their symptoms, using an adjustment document designed for the trial. Participants were split into two random groups with one set receiving amitriptyline and the other receiving a placebo. Those prescribed the drugs controlled the number of tablets they took during the trial, guided by a patient dose adjustment document that was developed with patient representatives especially for this trial. It meant that participants could increase or decrease their dose based on their symptoms or any side effects experienced. Published in The Lancet, the results showed that those taking amitriptyline were almost two times as likely to report an overall improvement of symptoms compared to those taking the placebo drug. The researchers are now recommending that GPs use the drug to support patients with IBS, making the dose adjustment document widely available to medical professionals and patients. Co-Chief Investigator Alexander Ford professor of gastroenterology in the University of Leeds School of Medicine, said, amitriptyline is an effective treatment for IBS and is safe and well tolerated. This new rigorously conducted research indicates that general practitioners should support patients in primary care to try low-dose amitriptyline if their IBS symptoms haven't improved with recommended first-line treatments. Professor Andrew Farmer, Director Nyers Health Technology Assessment HDA, program, said, the results of this study are hugely encouraging. It shows that a drug already widely available to treat a number of other conditions appears to be safe and effective for people with IBS. The findings the research team has shared around the adjustment of dosages can be tremendously helpful to GPs in guiding them when treating patients. IBS affects a significant number of people in the UK and can have a debilitating effect on their day-to-day -day lives. This is another excellent example of how high-quality research can lead to positive changes in health and social care practice and treatments for the benefit of patients and healthcare professionals. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.